Hi preschoolers. I'm upside down. Um, I wanted to show you a way that you could make pictures like the ones that are in this book, Swimmy by Leo Leone. And um, you can watch the video of me reading the book if you don't remember it. But um, he used um, a printmaking technique called stamping, which you can easily do with things you have around your house. So um, the one thing that you will need is some kind of paint. And I just have this bin of all sorts of old paints that I was gonna use. And I'm gonna try today, I'm gonna try to use watercolors to do this work. Um, the other thing is you should gather some little bits of things that you can use to stamp. So this is stuff that you won't need to use for anything else. So I'm using some plastic I got from my, a box I got in the mail and some cotton balls, a little scrap of fabric, some old aluminum foil, some pieces of cardboard, a little bit of fluff from a box of jewelry. And then I use cardboard to make a little swimmy fish shape. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just mix some colors that I can use for the water. Ooh, that didn't look great. This is kind of old paint, so I'm gonna have to do a little bit more mixing. Okay, so I'm gonna mix up this blue. I want it to be a little bit lighter, so I'm going to add a little white to it. Can you see I'm adding the white? I'm using a brush to mix it up, make it kind of a lightish color. And then I'm just going to start by, I have a piece of paper here, and I'm going to start by stamping a little of this foil. I'm going to press it into the paint. See how I got some on the foil and then I'm just going to press it on my paper all over the place. And I'm going to do one more time and then I might switch to this plastic bag that I found. And I'm going to press that on there. Can you see how it's making a little bit of a different kind of texture? all over so i did that now i'm going to do a little of this kind of plastic i'm going to ball it up a little bit i'm going to dip it in the blue paint and i'm going to put it all over and then i think i might want a little bit of seaweed i'm going to take some of this light green Ooh, that needs a little mix sometimes when you haven't used paint in a while it separates into different kinds of oily stuff. You can use any kind of paint you have around. Maybe if you have some tempera paint or a little bit of watercolor. And it has to be the kind of paint that you can squeeze though. You could even try using something funny like shaving cream and food coloring if you don't have any paint. All right, so now I'm gonna make, I'm gonna use this to see if I can make some seaweed in my picture. Okay, I use that. I'm gonna use uh, maybe a little bit of cardboard. See what kind of a print that can make. Okay. And then the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make some fish. So I think first I'll make some red fish because Swimmy was in a school of red fish. We had, I think I need to use a different brush for this. And I'm going to stamp my little fish stamp. Where did it go? Where did he go, little fishy? Oh, there he is. There he is. I'm going to stamp my little fish stamp in the red paint. And I'm going to stamp one red fish here, one red fish here, one red fish here. I'm going to get a little more paint, more red fish all over. And then I'm just going to kind of use a little 
wipe there. And I'm going to do some black paint. I'm going to do a black swimmy. The swimmy was a different color than all of his friends, remember? I'm just going to get a little black paint on there. And I'm going to stamp my swimmy. And you can keep working on it. I might use this rock or this cotton ball that I have to make some rocks in the bottom of the ocean. Make a little black and yellow. You can work on it as long as you want. The more you add, I think the more beautiful it gets. I'd love to see what you come up with. Post your work on the Google Photo Roll. All right, see you later.